Hey everybody, it's Miss Nelson. For your project this week, for your second project of the week, I want you to make a thank you card for somebody who means a lot to you or who does a lot for you. It's um, Thanksgiving coming up or whatever you celebrate during the fall break. And so it's a good chance to give somebody a card to thank them. So you're gonna want a piece of paper that is kind of floppy. So either lined paper or printer paper, like copier paper, or maybe even construction paper, as long as it's not too thick. You don't want hard stock that doesn't bend as easily. And you're also gonna want whatever you want to color with to decorate the paper first. Now, I would recommend not using markers on this one because the markers tend to bleed through the paper and that will show on the outside of the envelope. So I would stick with colored pencils or crayons or pen and pencil. All right, now I will just say that this is kind of hard to follow maybe a little bit, but I think that if you watch a couple times and try with some scrap paper, you'll get it down and then you can fold, decorate and fold the card for somebody. This is what the envelope looks like when it's done. And it just, I'll show you the reverse process here. Just like that. So let me show you how to do that. So the first thing you're gonna do is make sure your paper has the long side on top and the short side on the sides. And you're gonna fold it this way. Just line up the corners. Okay, get a nice crease. Make sure the crease is folded so that you can see it and open it back up. Okay, now the reason I'm using green is so that you can kind of see the crease lines a little bit better than if it were white paper. The white paper tends to just like look like snow. All right, so I've got this fold line here. The next step is I'm going to take the corner, the upper corner, remember this is with the long side on top, fold line down the middle. I'm gonna take this corner and I'm gonna fold it down to where it meets that crease. Okay. And then once I've got it in place, just have to kind of go out, hold it down while I press the crease down. Okay. Same thing on the other side. You don't want it to overlap. You don't want that. You just want it to meet at the middle. Okay, so it's okay if there's a bit of a gap up here. That's better than having it overlap. All right, and fold that one down too. Okay, so it's not perfect and that's okay. It's close. All right, so you can see where the edges of the paper are here. I'm actually going to take the bottom and fold it to where it comes up to the, that point, but it doesn't overlap. So I wanna make sure that there's a tiny bit of space between the two pieces of paper. Like they just touch, but they don't overlap. And you have to check the whole thing before you make the crease. You wanna make sure that it doesn't overlap anywhere. If, again, that's not perfect. I've got more of a gap here than here, but it doesn't overlap and that's the important part. Okay, now I've got this. All right, looks like a sailboat. Okay, next step. After you've got the sailboat look, you're gonna make it look like a hat. So you're gonna take, if you just kind of like push these down and put your finger right there and then fold this up, you can tell it makes a natural there's a natural fold line it wants to fold at. So you just fold it right there. Fold it where these end and this ends. You don't want to fold it to where this is getting in the way, okay? Just like that. All right, so we've got the e kind of easier part down. If you have to stop and start the video over again, to get this part down, that's okay. It took me several times as well, so don't feel bad. 
if you have to start over. That's why I want you to use scrap paper first, okay? So the next step is going to be to take this part up here and fold it down to where the point is not at the end, but a little bit up from the end. Okay, so here's where my paper ends. It's, ah, it's really hard to see, isn't it? Ooh. Struggles, okay. So the point is right there, not at the very bottom. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fold that down. This is where it starts to get hard to fold the paper. It doesn't wanna cooperate. You have to hold it down with one hand while you kind of ease, like guide it to where it needs to go. All right, so that is that one. Now, getting even more complicated. Okay, the next two steps are the hardest. So just bear with me. I'm gonna draw on this with a pencil so that you can see what's going on because it's hard in the camera. So I've got this right here, right? Still hard to see. And I'm going to imagine a fold line that comes from this point up here and goes straight down. Cool. Great. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Right? So I'm gonna imagine a, a line from this point straight down. Same thing over here, just straight down. Straight down the paper, okay? Now I have to take this and kind of, oops, kind of eat, like guide it to where it's gonna fold right there. And then as I fold this over right here, I wanna make sure those don't overlap. There's just a nice line there. Okay, and then holding it down, tell it what to do. It's getting kind of stiff now, especially if you're using construction paper, but this should be, should start to look like an envelope. Okay, same thing over here, we're folding on this line. We're folding so that there's a line that goes straight down. Okay. And if you like, you can think about it this way. These are going to match up, but not overlap. Tell the paper who's boss. Try not to get some extra wrinkles in there. It's starting to get, it's starting to come together. Okay. One more thing. Well, really two, but one more set of folds for this, okay? You have to take these flaps and you have to make this go up like that. Okay, it's gonna come close to this part, but it's not gonna quite get there. And if your paper's thick, this is gonna be the hardest part. Okay, so again, like that. Same thing with this flappy over here. We're just gonna take it and put it, fold it up so that this line lines up here. Fold it so the line goes there. Make a crease. All right, so it should look like this now. Okay, so we are truly are there. All you have to do now is take this triangle out fold those back down and then guide that into the pocket. Okay. Now, sometimes it doesn't quite fit. Like it doesn't, I can't get it in there anymore. There's no more space. So all you have to do then is just put it in as far as it will go into that pocket there and then walk your fingers up and make a new crease right up there. The other way to get rid of that is to, you have to cut the paper down, but that's more difficult. I like this way better. So there you have it, voila. It's an envelope and it's a super neat skill to have. So if you're ever missing an envelope, you've got one. You could make an envelope out of a letter, tape it here, so just to protect it and mail it this way. Just put a stamp on it, put an address on it and mail it or you can deliver it to somebody using um, safety protocol or like measures, of course, protocols. What am I? Wow. Using safety measures 
<laughs> I'm getting wacko here. Um, so just being safe, you can hand deliver this to somebody, put their name on it. Um, it won't affect the drawing inside as long as you're not using marker that goes through the paper and that's it. So if it takes you several tries, this is my pencil mark right here. If it takes you several tries to get this right, that's okay. You want to practice before you try folding up the drawing that you made and um, then you'll have yourself a card with an envelope.